Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kade and in this video I'm gonna finally get started with all the things that I want to share with you uh, on this channel. And even though you already know that I have been living in Finland for the past 10 years of my life and that I want to share to you a lot about Finland, a lot about my business studies, the entrepreneurial journey that I'm starting and so on and so forth, I really want to take this video to go back in time and really start from the moment that my life changed. And in case you didn't know, my life changed with my exchange to Finland. But before I, before I finally was able to say yes to my exchange, I had had other opportunities to go on exchange and well, then I just chickened out. And uh, I really feel that a lot of people that might be considering going on exchange might relate to the feelings that I was having back then. So I really want to share this uh, story with you. Maybe you resonate in case you are thinking about going on exchange. I hope that my experience might help you just to see how an exchange can really, really give you a very, very different perspective on the, you know, on the life that you're having at the moment. How did that impact me and how it ultimately changed my life? Of course, you are the decision maker. <laughs> you are the driver. Uh, of your own life so definitely the fact that you go to an exchange does not mean doesn't mean by like by any means that your whole life needs to change definitely not i just really want to highlight how exchange can bring you those opportunities and how it did for me and how through my exchange is that now i am where i am <laughs> which means in Guapio in finland and uh yeah that has been basically it but before i before any of these things happened, I actually, um, um, let me give you a little bit background about myself. So if you didn't know, I am from Mexico. I grew, I was born in Mexico City, but I grew up in Estado de Mexico in a city called Lerma de Villada. And I always went to school to a city, to a school that was in a city called Toluca, also in the Estado de Mexico. And the school to which I went was Colegio Springfield, which in English translates as Springfield College, I believe. So yes, just as you might be thinking, like just like the one in The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so basically when I was in sixth grade, our school had this very, very beautiful program that consisted about going on a one month exchange to Australia. And basically the exchange program consisted in the first this Australian uh, school would send their students to our school they would spend one month with us in mexico and then we would do the same the other way around and it was a beautiful experience it was the first experience that i ever had i was 11 years old and i received a girl a beautiful girl from australia her name is paris lyons i actually did not continue any communication with her but it was very beautiful because i'm an i'm a like i'm an only child. <laughs> I'm a single child, so I always wanted to know how would it be to have siblings, and I could experience that with Paris at a very young age, and it was a very, very different experience. I always wanted to have uh, a sister, but then I didn't know how would that feel, and uh, it was it was a great experience, to be honest. I understood how nice it is to have someone to spend the time with uh, during school and throughout the rest of the day, but it also felt weird to share my parents. Uh, but again, I was only 11 years old. So for me, it was a very great experience. And actually I cried my ass off when she had to leave back to Australia. I was like, oh my God, like you gotta be kidding. You, you just cannot leave me. Uh, I loved her so much, but then uh, being a child, I also experienced the fact that I had to share my parents. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, and of course, you know, being us like little kids, my parents knowing that they were receiving like a little girl, like she was also 11 years old. So of course they had to be like way more caring because you're dealing with like a younger, like much, 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 much younger child. Usually exchanges takes place when the person is 15, 16, 17, and 18 years old. And then of course, all the exchanges that occur during university. So that was my experience back then. So of course, because I had that experience and I was like, my family was a host family. I had the right to go on exchange to Australia for one month. And it was like amazing because my school organized the exchange in a way that 
we would go first one week to Japan and then four weeks to Australia or was it one week in Japan and three weeks in Australia, something like that. But when the time came, I really chickened out. Uh, I just could not make uh, my mind agree with the fact that I would just be not with my parents for one month. And I got, I just freaked out. I just thought like, what am I going to do if I start missing them? <laughs> what am I going to do? if somehow I don't manage, what if I get like homesick and then I literally cannot come back until the one month has passed. So I really got very overwhelmed. So when the time actually came, I said that, okay, well, you know, like I actually like, thank you, but no, thank you. I don't want to go on exchange. And that was my first experience with exchange. I decided not to go. Uh, I don't know how this exchange would have impacted my life, but I decided that I didn't want to take on the chance. And that's what I did. Then the second time that I had the opportunity to go on exchange was when I was 15 years old and it was through Rotary International. So basically I had just graduated from my secondary school. So I had just graduated from the ninth year I was going to high school. And um, the headmaster of my high school one day invited uh, all the parents to this kind of meeting, like meeting with parents. And then they said like, of course, if then your child uh, goes to high school and your child would be interested uh, in going on exchange, they can go on exchange through Rotary International and, you know, we can like make all the arrangements because, uh, you know, a lot of the, it's not usual, but at least in 2009, when we were discussing those things, a lot of the people that went on exchange, their schools didn't necessarily validate that year. So the message that the headmaster wanted to give to the parents was that if we would go uh, on exchange, then the school would be able to validate us that year. So basically, even though we would not be studying in Mexico, it, that wouldn't be a problem. So that was basically it. And my father went to that meeting and he heard about the possibility. He talked to me about it and I was like, oh my God, yes, I'd really like to know more. So then we talked with the headmaster, uh, Miss Georgina Duran. I think she was actually the, the like sub headmaster, but it, it really doesn't matter at this point. And I had like an interview, I talked, I think, I believe it was the headmaster's mother, uh, if my brain is not playing like some funny, <laughs> funny jokes there, if, if, if my mind is still like <laughs> remembering everything right. But I had an interview and basically in the interview, they just really wanted to know like, okay, Jade, uh, do you understand? It's a one year long exchange. Do you understand? Uh, what does it mean? You're going to give us your country preferences. However, we cannot guarantee that you're going to be sent to that country. Uh, do you understand? And would you still be willing to go on exchange, even though you would not get necessarily the country that you choose? And I was like, yes, you know, like, don't worry. I'm, I'm fully on. I want to go on exchange. Yes. However, when the, when the time came, actually like this person connected me with another Rotarian person uh, from the club that ultimately sponsored my exchange. Well, they didn't sponsor my exchange, but they were my Rotary club through which I went on exchange. And um, yeah, so basically when the time came, I got a call and they told me that, okay, had it. well, listen, we have like a tiny little bit of a problem because you're only 15 years old. And at least back in 2009, they told me like, if you are 15 years old, uh, there's a lot of countries that don't necessarily accept uh, that young uh, exchange students. So the only country where you would be able to go at this point, if you really want to go on the autumn, it would be Thailand. And I've never heard about Thailand. Uh, I've never actually gone anywhere uh, from Mexico. I've lived all my life in Mexico and just traveled within Mexico. So I was like, oh my God, Thailand, where's Thailand? And I Googled it and I thought it would have been so beautiful, but I just, you know, being 15, I really just freaked out when I saw that, like the, the letters, the vocabulary, the language. And I thought that, oh my God, that's like basically on the other side of the world. And <laughs> it's very, very far and uh, I don't understand, like, I don't understand the letters and I don't know why. That's the only thing literally that I can remember. I cannot understand the letters. And, you know, my brain could process a lot of things, but my brain could not process the fact that what do I do if I, if I can't possibly read what it's, you know, what their language says, you know, if it would be like the normal letters, I probably like 
try or attempt something but I was I, I just got very very freaked out and I got very overwhelmed and I was like okay well you know listen I, actually after all I'm not ready which you know looking looking back at it I think that the destiny was really nice with me because it was the second chance that I had on going to exchange and and I chickened out, like I, I, I cannot express it in any other way. I had the possibility, but, but I was just scared at that point. And I'm so thankful with the universe for it giving me more opportunities until the right one came along, which was uh, going to like coming on exchange to Finland. But I'm going to actually tell you how it happened, because after I said that, yes, yeah, so, like, you know what? They told me, Jade, if you want to go to another country, maybe it's better that you just wait for one year and then you try again. And that's what I did, uh, kind of. Because they told me, like, if, if you don't want to go now, and I said, yes, I don't want to go now, would you want uh, to go maybe next year? And I said, like, yes, like, please let me know, like, next year when, you know, when you are doing all again the applications, I would really like to know more about it. And I'd really like to consider again the possibility of going on exchange. And that's what happened. And these, this time they called me, they called me at around December, to be honest, December 2009, because, like, yeah, when I was doing all this process, when they offered me Thailand that I, and I say that I don't want to go, it was uh, in spring 2009. So it was December 2009, they, they called me and they are like, okay, if you want to go in 2010, autumn, then this is the time. And uh, I was like, yes, I want to go. Actually, I was with, uh, at the time when I received the call, I was with my at the time boyfriend. And when they told me like, okay, do you want to go? I was like, hell yeah. Then I, then I put the phone down and then I look at him. I was like, hmm, hmm, I might have a problem here. But at the end of the day, I didn't because we broke up. So whatever. And the exchange actually came at a really, really good point in my life. I really needed it. I was like, okay, I'm going to go out of the country. Perfect. Bye. Um, yeah, but so they called me about it. I did another interview. I did a test. I don't remember what was the test about, but I did a test. I remember like we were invited to this place at this time and I had like a lot of papers where I just had to write stuff and answer questions. I have no clue what was that test about, but I did. And then in that test, uh, they requested me the countries. Like it was for the first time because I was actually on time with the application. They asked me the countries where I'd like to go and I gave five options. So first, as I mentioned before, I've never gone out of Finland, like ever, like never. <laughs> so, uh, and my father, he's a teacher. He's actually a researcher. He has done a lot of research in terms of education and he's just in love with education. So since, so since I was a very, very small kid, I always grew up with him talking to me about Finland and the PISA evaluations and how Finland has such a great educational system and so on and so forth. So, you know, being 16 years old, well, at the time I was still 15, uh, they like they asked me, where would I want to go? And I have no clue. I have no experience. I've never traveled abroad. So when they asked me, where would you want to go? I was like, well, I don't know. I guess I want to go to Finland because my, my father has raped so and talk to me so much about this country i just want to go to finland and i knew the the language you know the letters were the same so i was like okay finland that's my first option then because in my school we also studied french a little bit uh, during secondary school i was like okay maybe then i can go to france if i still focus on europe i'd like to go maybe to germany as a third option then I thought like, okay, if there's any of these, then I probably want to go to Canada. And if it's not Canada, then I just want to have a lot of fun and let's go to Brazil. So those were my fi uh, five options. Yes, five options. And that's what I did. Uh, I got the results. They told me, congratulations, Kade, you're going to go to Finland. And oh my God, like I was all over the moon. Like I could not believe I could possibly be going actually on exchange. And this time I was ready, you know, <laughs> of course I was older. Of course, I had broken up with my boyfriend, but for the first time, I, I thought that, yes, yes, I'm ready. You know, this was the third time and I just felt it came at a wonderful time. And I said, yes. And that is how I ended up in Finland. It was through a Rotary exchange year that happened when I was 16 years old, back in 2010. It was after two, uh, two failed attempts uh, of going on exchange. 
And if you are thinking, or if someone that's watching me is thinking about going on exchange, uh, I want to next talk about like how the exchange really like was for me and what it meant to me. Uh, but just just really trust yourself. Uh, I feel that when the time comes, you know it. And when the time comes, you feel it and you feel sure about you wanting to go abroad and you wanting to have this experience. And before I didn't feel like that. I felt that if I would have gone, I would have been really pushing myself. I was not sure, I was not comfortable and I didn't have those experiences. So I cannot tell to you how does it feel to go not being fully sure of whether you wanna go or not. I only went on exchange when I was fully sure that I wanted to go on exchange and I made the most out of my exchange and I loved like so fucking much my exchange year. <laughs> I never changed it for anything else. Like a lot of exchange students says, say that their exchange, it's a life in a year and I cannot agree more with that. Like uh, every person that goes in exchange lives a life in a year or a life in a semester. It's life changing. So that's basically how it all went. Uh, it was because my father went to this one meeting organized with my school uh, by my the headmaster of my school and it was very beautiful it really changed my life and well once i got the acceptance letter once i got to know who was going to be my host family i started planning everything i started processing the residence permit buying the tickets getting the insurance everything started just rolling up and it was beautiful and that's how i ended up in finland that was when I got the positive decision. I believe it was maybe like May 2009. Then in June, July, I started taking a little bit of Finnish, a Finnish course. We had like the, in the embassy of, like the Finnish embassy in Mexico, they recommended this one teacher that gave Finnish lessons. And that was where I kind of like just learned the very basic, like, hi, how are you? I am uh, Monday, Tuesday, one, two, three, four, five like just very, very basic things. I started working on all my residence application things. And then on August, I was taking my flight to Finland. And that was the first time that I was in Finland. So that's the story. And that's how it happened. It was through an exchange. And I'm going to be so happy to share to you more about what happened. <laughs> what were my first impressions about Finland once I actually got into the airplane and when I went first to London, then from London, I went to Helsinki and they picked us up from Helsinki, which is the capital of Finland, in case you didn't know. Uh, I didn't know back then. So, <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, it was very beautiful. Uh, that's how we started and it really changed my life. But I think I have already said that like maybe a million times in these videos. So I'm going to tell to you more about what were my fir first impressions about Finland when I arrived being 16 years old and being an exchange student through Rotary International. But in the meanwhile, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you see my next video. And in the meanwhile, have a wonderful day and have a wonderful holiday time. I know that the times that we're living are not the easiest ones, but I really hope that we can spend some time at least with our very, very near family, at least in Finland. I was thinking to go uh, on the New Year's with my boyfriend to a place called Koli that it's in Finland. I was thinking that we could go spend the New Year there, but with the situation being how it is, I just think that it's a uh, it's maybe not <laughs> the most uh, responsible thing to do. So I'm just not going to do it. And we're going to spend Christmas just with his family, with his mom, dad, sister and him and me. And that's the plan. So I know that this is going to be different type of holidays. Um, but yes, I hope you have a wonderful day, as wonderful as it can possibly be and very nice holidays. And because I didn't submit like many videos in the past months. I'm just going to keep filming for today. Just going to change some clothes. But yeah, enjoy this time and let's see you in the next video. Bye.